if you look at the code in the background it has created a calculator for us so public class calculator is the JFrame extends the JFrame from the swing library now you need to remember that we should not be changing this call this is a built-in call to initialize the components on our JFrame form this method is called from within the constructor to initialize the form warning do not modify this code the content of this method is always regenerated by the form editor what we are interested in is if you look at these variables now we did all of these through a click and drag and drop we did not add any of these variables directly to this code so these have been created for us by this IDE what we want to do now is we want to add some functionality to our buttons for example if I click on this button 1 It takes me to the code in the background and it creates a method btn1 action performed this basically this method tells us that what should action should be performed when we click on button 1 or any of the buttons in this case we clicked on button 1 and this tells us what action should perform and it will allow us to add functionality to this button so what we want to do is we want that when we click on one between one a one should be displayed on this uh, on our display area and we can do that by calling the setter methods for example the name of our text area or the display area was txt display and we can call these methods on that area so for example we want that we want to set the text in our text area so it has a set text method and if you remember we use the setters and getter uh, methods so now what we want this action to do is to get whatever the text on the button is so the buttons also have that setter and getter methods btn1 dot if you press dot you will see what can what methods you can call on this button object I will choose the get text so what should happen now is when I click on btn1 and our button 1 it should it should call the set text method of the txt display that is the display area and object of the text field at the top of our form and set the text in that area to whatever the button the text on the button is now the button the text on button 1 is 1 so it should text set the text of button 1 uh, sorry the txt display to 1 you can also write simply by setting the text to maybe 1 but we will be copying and pasting this code for all of our buttons so it is better to get the text of the button instead of hard coding the text that we want to display in the txt display object so now run our program again and let's see what happens when we click on btn 
वन इफ आई क्लिक ऑन वन यू कैन सी दैट अ वन इज डिस्प्लेड बट इफ आई क्लिक ऑन वन अगेन नथिंग हैपन्स शुड बी इलेवन ट्रिपल वन और वन 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 एंड अगेन इफ आई क्लिक ऑन द अदर बटन्स नथिंग हैपन्स और हेयर सिंस आई वी हैव नॉट एडिड एनी फंक्शनलिटी टू द अदर बटन्स बट इम्पॉर्टेंटली इवन ऑन बटन वन if i click on the button again i want a one to be maybe concatenated to the one that is already there and similarly if i press two twice i should get a 22 rather than a two over here so what we do need to do is we need to read the text that is already there on in the txt display and concatenate to that the text of the button that we are pressing on that will help us to maybe work our calculator better than what it is currently now and similarly if i let's say i want to add text from the keyboard i can add anything to this display area what ideally should this txt display field should be doing is this text field should be doing is it should not be allowing any text to be added to it other than that is there on the screen so we'll see how we, we can control this that uh, one we do not allow the any extra text to be displayed on the screen from the keyboard and also it should let's say display what or concatenate to the text that is already there on the screen and later on we'll move towards adding functionality to the operations buttons we will also add functionality to the to the clear button so now what we can do is we need to modify this a little better a little bit what we want is that we should get the text that is already there in the txt display so we can call the get text method it will get the text whatever the text were there was and it will concatenate the new text that we have clicked on it will concatenate the text of the button that we have clicked on so if i run this program again what should happen is now if i click on one it has displayed a one to me in this area if i click on one again what it is doing is now it is getting the text that is already there in this area and it is concatenating the text of the button that i am clicking on after this now of course we have not added this functionality to the other uh, methods uh, other buttons but we can copy this code and add this to the other buttons as well similarly let's modify the code for the clear button so when i click on the clear button what should happen is you can see that a method is created for us what should happen is i can copy this code and whatever there is on the txt display it should be an empty string we'll add functionality to some of the other uh, buttons and try to run our code again so we need to click on the buttons one by one i have click on btn2 i will get the text from the btn2 
and concatenate that text to the other buttons uh, sorry the uh, already text that is there similarly we will do that this for all of our buttons and make sure you change the name of the button otherwise we will be getting a different text since this is not a compilation error this is might be a logical error that if you click on 3 and you get a 2 there that will be a logical error the compiler will not alert you to that error we have added functionality for all of our buttons or specifically the buttons that are supposed to display something on the text area in the text area so we have btn4 when we click button 4 it should display or concatenate a 4 to whatever there is in the txt display 5 for 6 7 8 9 0 and the dot operator as well if you look at if you run the code again now if you run the application again now what we can see now is we are able to concatenate whatever we click on to whatever there is in the text field already so we can be sure that we are able to achieve at least something from this calculator and then we can clear all of whatever the content we have added to our txt or our text field but still we are not able to do anything with these numbers what we want now is when for example I have this number in this text in this text field I click on this plus this one should disappear and I should be able to add another number and when I click on the equals button those two numbers should be added together and the answer should be displayed on the screen for that purpose we what we will do is we will add a few variables to our program in the background and there should be variables that are accessible to all of these buttons or the methods of these buttons so we will display the variables on the top of our class if you may you want to remove so I will add a variable double now what the double variable should do uh, first number that should store the first number from my text field so when I click on any of the operations for example on the plus what should happen is that whatever the number I have on the txt in the, t in the txt display text field should be stored in this variable and I can initialize it to maybe 0, 0.0 similarly I will have another variable double second number now you may be able to do this without declaring these variables but it is a good idea to go step by step initialize to 0 then you want to have a variable for the result whether it is a sum or a subtraction or any other operation now what we want to know the operation that we have chosen for example if I'm clicking on the equals button I would want 
to store the information of the operation that was chosen previous to choosing the second number so if I let's say click on an operation I want to store that in a variable that will allow me to know what operation I have chosen and based on the operation that I have chosen maybe using an if statement or uh, if else statement or a switch statement I would be able to perform that operation now that I have these variables and I have added some form of functionality to our buttons we are ready to add functionality to our operation buttons for example if I click on the plus button 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 action performed method will be created and what I want to do is when I click on the plus button what I should what should happen is that whatever the number is there is in the txt display text field should be stored in my variable so that I am able to perform the operation on this variable is equal to and one thing that we need to remember is that as I mentioned previously that whatever the we enter in our text field let's say in graphical user programming that is in the form of text or string so we sh would want to convert that to a double value a number format so that we are able to perform calculation on that number if you look at this code again this is a simple code that what it does is it reads whatever there is in the txt display text field through the by calling the get text method of that field text field it converts it to a double format since we have declared this variable as double and since we want to perform calculations on this number we suppose that we we assume that this is a valid number then that is converted and but but that will be in the text format that will be converted to a double and then assigned to this number the next thing that we want is since we would want to empty the text field for our next number we are building a very simple calculator we can do that by assigning or by setting the text of the text display text field to empty string and the third thing that we want that should happen is our operation variable should be updated with the kind of operation that we have chosen so this was a string and we have clicked on the plus button the operation variable or the string operation should be equalized to the plus similarly we will add this code for the rest of the buttons as well so we have added functionality for our other buttons as well when we click on a minus button what should happen is the number already in the text field should be stored in a number in a variable it should become empty and the operation variable should be updated so if we run the program again although 
we won't be able to perform the calculation still but if you want to see if I click on the plus button it is now ready to accept a new number now I want what I want is when I click on the equals button although it is not doing anything if I make it a little simple if I have clicked on 2 I have clicked on plus I have clicked on 2 again I want the answer to be displayed here as 4 but since I have not added any code to the equals button it will not do anything thus far similarly this button is also not working what I want this button to do is that when I click on this button the symbol of this number should change so for example if this is a plus 2 if I click on this this should become a minus 2 if I this is a minus 2 if I click on this this should become a positive number and that is simply can be achieved by multiplying this number by minus 1 so a minus 2 multiplied by a minus 1 will become 2 and a 2 multiplied by minus 1 will become minus 2 so let's try to add functionality to our these final two buttons if I double click on this button it will take me to the background code for this button and that is the action that should be performed on this button so what we can do is we want to read the number that is already there in the text field and store it in a variable and then multiply that variable by minus 1 and display the result again within the same text field so again, we would want to double dot parse double it will convert the text to the text to uh, the double and we want to read the value of the string so we use the value of method dot get text so it will read the text from the text field and store it in this variable now we what we will simply do is we multiply this variable by plus minus is equal to plus minus multiplied by minus 1 this should change the symbol or the sign of this number and now we will want to display this number in our txt display text field in a text format of course set text so if you want to display a number in a text format in our text field we need to convert that into a text field and we can do that and we can do that by using the value of method of the string and now 
the plus minus variable will be converted to a text format a string format and it will be displayed on the screen or in the text field area and finally we want that when we click on the equals button what should happen is that the number that al there was already and the operation that was we have that was chosen or selected the operation that was selected should be performed on the first number and the number that we entered after the operation by clicking the equals button to add functionality to our equals button if we double click on this we go to the btn equal action equal action performed method now what we want is we want to display the answer we will declare a variable for our answer once we have the answer we will store that answer in a string variable and display it on this uh, screen or our display area we also had a variable for storing the value of the second number so what we want that when we click on the equals button the second number the the text in the text field should be read and stored in the second number again this will work similar to what we did for the first number when we click on the operations button whatever the operation was the first number the text in the text field area was stored in the first number now when we click on the equals button the text in the text field area should be stored in the second number variable so we can simply copy and paste this code since this will only be after we have chosen or clicked on the operation operation any of the operation button and the text will will become have, would have become empty and we would have entered another number we assume that we have are entering valid numbers we are not trying to add maybe with empty strings in that case it, we we are not performing too much validation in our calculator we are trying to build a very simple calculator now the third thing that should happen is based on the operation that we had clicked on the relevant operation should perform so we can use a switch statement over here or we can use an if statement over here so if the operation we had click on was maybe a plus and this is why we had an operation variable a string variable operation so that we can perform the selection or the switch operation or the if operation on that variable so if we had chosen the plus operation what should happen is that the result should be the sum of the two numbers and the answer should be displayed in the text field but first we need to convert the result variable to a string format we use the string dot called the format method of the string class 
so that we can add some format to our number before displaying it in the string format we want to maybe add two precision points to our result since this was a double variable and we can add the precision points and finally the txt display text field should display the answer answer will be displayed in the txt display text field let's try and check by running this program again so we have enter a number and when we click on this operation the first number should have been stored in the first number variable and when we add another number and when we click on the equals button what should happen is this 6 should be stored in this variable and since we have clicked on the plus button what should happen is it should be added to our previous number that was I think 34 and the answer should be displayed on the screen with two precision points as we can see the answer has been displayed on the screen with two precision points as we have chosen over here we'll do the same for the rest of the operations for example the minus the division and the multiplication operation so we'll add if statements over here one for I will copy and paste this code this one for the subtraction this one for maybe the division and this one for the multiplication you can add more operations to the calculator maybe a modulus operator if you may but so far we have added the operations for our buttons that we had on our calculator now if we uh, run the program again we should be able to maybe perform the rest of the operations as well so I have, I have chosen this is my first number I will I have chosen the operation as multiplication if I click on may I will choose another number 7 into 3 should be 21 so our buttons are performing accurately I can change the symbol of this number by clicking on the plus minus button as well that is was the functionality of the plus minus button you can you can check the rest of your buttons for example if I divide it on 3 I click on the equals button I get the same answer so hopefully if I choose maybe minus and 6 so all of our buttons are performing accurately now one thing that we didn't change was we are still able to maybe add anything from the keyboard over here so what we can do with this is we can go to the properties of this text field and if we can see that this is there is an editable option over here if we uncheck this option then maybe 
you won't be able to add anything to the screen this text field from the keyboard now if I try to add things from the keyboard I'm not able to do this I can only add things from the buttons of the calculator this might be a very simplistic way of solving this problem there would be other methods of solving this problem maybe using regular expressions that we'll be studying when we study strings or string operations but for the moment we have some sort of solution for the problem that we were having now this will conclude this part of the lecture as well as this lecture 21 we'll continue our discussion of graphical user interfaces in lecture 22 as well